village of Stanton and uh, in the middle here and there's a war memorial it's a busy little part here and this is the church of All Saints All Saints Church Stanton so we'll leave the busy street and walk up the gravel path and the first thing we see apart from the church is this beautiful lot of blossom look at that fantastic and we stand here next to the blossom actually <laughs> and look at the church um, you see that the uh, church is absolutely beautiful it's got a tower a small tower to the left have a look at that in a minute let's have a look at this churchyard oops there's a grave there walk underneath this tree lots of old headstones here this is a back to wilderness part of the yard and here again we've got one of these graves where they've put railings around and then of course it becomes almost impossible to keep it up and all the weeds and everything grow through but it's very picturesque look at this underneath the tree can you hear the birds singing and that's sad lots of headstones have been broken see the rear of the church here where the altar would be big cross up there and it's lovely lovely flint work massive window and here we've ah got a floodlight here that's a really nice floodlight set in a green metal container I bet this church looks nice at night we've got a brick wall surrounding the churchyard and as you can see we've got a busy road here people walking back and forth a lot of graves here underneath this tree one here falling into the ground another headstone here that really has gone back to nature can't even really read that one it's beautiful though that look lovely side of the church here we've got four really large windows And a, a door, a doorway that used to be, now, now it's filled in. It's another entrance to the churchyard there, coming off the main road. It's quite busy here this morning. Most of these headstones, though they look romantically atmospheric they're extremely weathered and difficult to read that's the what used to be an entrance little side entrance here and a car park to the side oh and there's a wheelie bin there's a big window there look at that that's extremely large window here. Very well kept area here. Corner here, if we sort of climb up this little slope here, we find, oh, in the dark here, next to some houses, there's a little corner with a group of headstones. I suspect they may have been moved here at some point. 
It's a shame the sun isn't shining. We would have lovely reflections coming through here. But it's very overcast today. There's a beautiful sight though. So we'll come back down this little slope. On this side we've got a lovely little bench. We'll just have a little sit down for a minute. Ah, oh, now look at that. A lovely little church, birds flying around. So there's a porch that's been added to the little extension and that porch has got a looks like a bell house in it it's fabulous a lovely sight quiet little corner here in the village of Stanton let's have a look see what we can see inside this church little Oh, what a beautiful little porch, I mean, that's lovely, all the walls are painted and they've left highlights, or highlighted the stone, that's really nice. We've got, over here, let's start here, we've got here, in memory of Frank Charles Adams, 1905-1982 who built this belfry in 1956. Well, that explains a lot. So I guess the porch was here, and then this chap added the belfry on top because it wasn't a tower. And what have we got over here? Ah. So in 1800, for the use of the poor, for providing firing. Fascinating. Lovely old door which of course at one time had been exposed to the outside world. We've got bricks on the floor, which are the typical local bricks they use for flooring. And we've got a warning, we've got CCTV installed on these premises. Ah, video recording operation, that's separate to me. Oh, we've got another warning here, police aware and no smoking. But if you've got any old shoes, you can leave them here. Well, let's have a look, see if this church is open. Ah, squeaky door. Ah, this is a lovely looking church. And big windows, plain glass, lots of light. To our left here we've got lovely charming little door that obviously goes to the belfry some farming implements there ah so that's the font which is obviously much older than I would have thought so that seems newer to me, I don't know. A lovely wooden top with the metal work on it. Oh, this is great. This church is decorated so well. The walls are a beautiful, soft, mellow, creamy color with all the stone edging highlighted. Really, really impressive looking church. And that window it's massive, but being plain glass, the light shining in and just lights this church up so well. Pews don't look very old to me. 
but we've got two aisles because there's an extension being built and up there we've got all these posters they're brilliant massive ceiling very high very high the floor is looks very old that's a nice well-worn floor but there's, there's newer tiles that have been put in underneath where the pews are. This is well worn. That's so lovely. Now this church has got a fabulous feel about it because it's all plain glass. Apart from this bit of stained glass in the end. That's very impressive. That's, actually it's more than impressive. It's fantastic. <laughs> Looks fantastic. The feeling here is one of airiness and it's modern looking, modern feeling. Memorial over here we'll have a look at in memory of Frederick Ernest Smith, rector of this parish from 1931 to 1954. And he died in 1974 and his wife Blanche. And also Maud Emily, the second wife. So this rector had two wives. One died in 1933, and one died in 1972. Ah, got a pulpit here, which is on a lovely base. Actually, oh, and that's all that worn floor. But actually, the pulpit looks quite low compared to the height of the church. What does it say? Ah, now we get a good view of this. This church is very impressive and different. It's very clean looking, very open, very modern. And the windows are so impressive because they're large and they're plain glass, not even frosted. It's an absolute beauty of simplicity about them. I'm very impressed with this. Lovely view outside here. We've got two steps here going up towards the altar. And we've got yet another area of beauty so well lit. Got a grave here on the floor. Sixteen eighty six. So to our right here we've got the organ with massive silver pipes below this beautiful ceiling the typical herringbone cladding and then supports beautiful window that's just giving in so much light we've got a door here and an old chest this belonged to a relation of the Reverend Frederick Foster, rector 1917 to 1931. Henry Swan Dudding, for 52 years rector of this parish, who died February the 5th. 1917. Look at that magnificent window. Plain glass. Stained glass in the middle. Two little diamond shapes each side. And behind it you can see the tree waving around in the wind and the blue sky with the clouds drifting across. 
fabulous. Two very thoughtful flower arrangements each side and some candles. Another window here with a little alcove. This is a church that looks designed. We've got a massive, massive arch there that's so high. And each side, symmetrically, we've got memorials and the windows. It's very symmetrical, this church. To the main part of the church, turn to the left, and we find a small piano. That's lovely. So musical interludes here. And this here, this part, is the extension that was obviously built at a later date, when these arches would have been created. Candle tree here. And this small little altar. There's a little doorway there, perhaps. Some stained glass within that window. stitches the chapel is in the memory of Ernest George Baker 1898 to 1973. We walk back down this smaller aisle, back to the main door, and we can see that to the right, the door that was blocked in was at one time the entrance to the church, and that was replaced with this one when the extension was added, and there's the belfry in the, above the porch. So I think you get some idea, really, of what happened. Looks like they have a, a book club or a little library here, that's nice. And a small area there for children. Here we've got the Roll of Honor Memorial from the 1418 War. So we leave this light and airy church with a sort of modern feel. Come back out through the another, another nice gate here. Somebody made a, a nice gate for this porch. We stroll back down here and just have a final look at this side of the church, which is really smart. It's a, quite a smart looking church. All the flint is beautiful condition. There's no glaring examples of areas which have been badly or poorly repaired and inappropriately filled with brick or some different material. Final view here of All Saints Stanton with that squat little tower above the, well it's not really a tower, it's a little belfry that's been built above the porch. That's lovely church, it's such good condition. Fabulous little place, right in the middle of
busy little village of Stanton. <laughs>